Many of us are thinking about taking trips to visit our relatives or even a trip abroad, but it's still important to remember about safe sleep guidelines. So we've got some tips here for you to follow for sleeping both day and night. Now, if you're going to be using a travel cot, the mattresses tend to be quite hard and quite thin, but please don't be tempted to add a layer of blankets or a quilt to try and make your baby feel more comfortable because this actually goes against safe sleep guidelines. The positioning of the cot is also really important too. Make sure it's not in direct sunlight or next to a radiator and of course make sure it's not within easy reach of blind cords or other hazards which your baby could pull into the cot. 